Libra. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do a love reading for you guys for the month of September 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. So I've been wanting to do love readings for you guys for a while now. Um, but I wanted to do something different, unique, something that nobody else was doing with cards that nobody else was using. You know, as far as, you know, using them for love. Um, Oracle of the Mermaids. Um, Susie Cavendish. So I've been messing around with them for like a year. And they really are amazing cards. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like them. And then I will also be pulling tarot cards as well. Now, with these cards... You know, I could sometimes, even though, you know, I'm strictly going to pray over the cards for love, you know, we don't know, we don't always get what we want in life. Um, sometimes work situations do come up. If that's the case, look at your moon and your rising signs. And you should always do this, no matter what reader you listen to. If it's all love, always watch your Venus sign. Aside from the fact that all of the links to my website, my Instagram, whatever you guys want to follow, everything is listed below, including a link of a birth chart that I feel, my own personal opinion, it is probably the best birth chart calculator out there. Literally, it'll take you under 60 seconds, okay? Okay, focusing on Libra. I've already been praying over your cards. If I didn't mention, I'll also be pulling um, some... Uh, Tarot cards, too. I'm going to use uh, the distant past. Okay. Libra. All right. There's definitely a three-party situation going on straight off, right out, right out of the gate here. Um, now, three-party situation. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're communicating with them. Maybe you just like them, flirting with them. You know, flirting with someone more than often. You know, that's somebody... You know, some of you could have someone... You know, even on the outside looking in. But for others of you, you know that somebody... That you like, you're talking to them... But you know what they want. <laughs> okay, sacrifice. Some of you, I feel like, you're, you know, your partner wants you to sacrifice something for them, or for the, or for the relationship. Honor the masculine. So this is a masculine figure. Okay, that. Wants you to do this. You know, it could be a man or a woman. You know, it's a general reading, so gender doesn't matter for me. But this is saying that, you know, that man wants you to leave your husband or your wife, your partner, whatever it is for them. And it's definitely not a good idea. Put this card in the reverse. Definitely not a good decision to do that. Once you cheat on somebody, you're going to definitely start thinking to yourself that they're going to do it again, do it to you, or just leave you. Soul. 
soul cage in the reverse. I think this, I would, I would typically never say this about this card, but this person feels like they're your soulmate. One of you is telling the other that we're soulmates. And this is the reason why we should do it. Because we're perfect together. Something like along those lines. Sisterhood reversed. This could be something at work. Could I, or you, know, you could work with this person or this person might be even trying to work with you. Maybe even trying to work for you in some cases. Let's clarify that. Okay, definitely feel like this card wants to come. Waves of power in the reverse. So, this could be one of your employers, your employees, this is the card in the upright. They are beautiful cards. Somebody, somebody that works for you or vice versa. It's a general reading. This could go either way. And they think that you are their soulmate. Well... Okay. Cool. I mean, it's not, it's not, you know. I, don't, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not a good idea because it, it puts you in a three-party situation. Let's see what these cards say. The distant past. Beautiful deck. Only on Etsy. So sorry, Libra. I mean, don't get me wrong. Somebody comes up to you and, and you know, tells you that they think that you're their soulmate and you feel the same way. Let's see what this these cards say. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Cups. Choo! So sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups. The Ten of Swords. I seriously feel like somebody is saying, if you don't give me this, I'm telling. If this person is like looking really nice to you. You, you, you decide to just walk right toward them.
but they're probably taking your money. For others of you, I feel like this, this person could be coming along trying to help you to get out of this, this triangle that you're in. But it's at a very high cost, I feel like. It, sh it just feels like someone is trying to pay someone off so they'll go away. But my feeling really is, is that someone ends up losing and you're going to stay with the per with your person. They may, they may try to pay you off, try to get you to you know, sacrifice something. which I don't think that's that's going to happen or vice versa. Keep that in mind. If not you, it could be the person that you're involved with, but you'll know if this is if this resonates for you. But somebody is going to just take the money to make them go away. And they might, they might think that they're going to get a little bit of money. But they're definitely going to get the money. It's so, that is so weird. The stuff that could come out with these cards is crazy. You're just going to pay them off. That's, you know, this person has stabbed you in the back. I just... But, you know, it's a 10. This is definitely coming to completion. You know, this, situ this shit is definitely coming to an end. Thank God for that. I do kind of feel that you will come out of this not so... stabbed in the back as this card is betrayed, is betraying. You know, and the Page of Wands is right behind that. So I do feel like, you know what, and there's the, you know, the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, it's, fortunately, it's probably just a lesson learned. That's crazy. Let me pull you guys some, an angel, an overall angel card. That's definitely for somebody, though. Okay. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. There's, you know, for some of you, you know, whatever this is, however this resonates for you, I think that there are probably some people, because this is already showing me a three-party situation. These people, you need your friends, your family, people that you could trust. This Queen of Pentacles is upright. You could trust her. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or this Knight of Pentacles. But I'm feeling like that's one and the same energy there. But the one that's being rejected is pretty pissed off and really is seeking revenge. And she's going to get it too. Wow. It's crazy. Guys, leave your comments on that. That's it's crazy. That's what I'm getting out of that. And it's definitely right. It totally fits. 
Alright guys, if it didn't resonate, we'll try again next week. Or next month, I'm sorry. Um, but let me leave your comments too. Let me know what you think of the cards. The whole love rating. If you just don't like it, we could always change it. But I definitely want to do love monthlies for you guys. Alright, Libra. Leave your comments. I love... I may not get the opportunity to always um, respond to your comments. But I do read every single one. Always. Alright, guys. Thank you so much. I hope it helps you guys out a little bit. I will see you guys back here soon for the morning oracle cards. Take care. Bye-bye.